coming soon to a video near you, my capture with my trail cam. So stay tuned for that. Exciting times. Yeah, watching the evergreen trees in the backyard blow back and forth. That's what I did most of last year. I got smart finally. I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I'm going to not aim it at the trees anymore. I'm going to aim it at the plants only up on my deck. So that's coming soon. But did my DIY rain barrel hack, fix, whatever you want to call it, did it work? After climbing under my deck, taking it all apart, scraping it down, cleaning it up, soaping it down, drying it off, oh, using some magic tape, fix-it tape supposedly, and letting it rest for 24 full hours so it doesn't get wet or misty. So I brought it in the house and let it dry. Ooh, and then put it all together. You ask, did it work or not? We've had nothing but rain. If it worked, I should have a rain barrel overflowing with water for my garden when we go into the drought season. I think I need to put a secondary rain barrel, attach it to this one so I can have overflow. Yes, indeedy, folks. If it worked, I'll attach a second garbage can because that's what I use. Yeah, I can't afford those fancy, fancy rain barrels. So, like a good gardener, when it's raining and nothing better to do but rest your back because you've overdone trying to prepare your garden, leading up to actually putting more things out to plant. Because it's getting chilly at nights, but it was in the 40s. Guess what tonight's going to be, folks? Zero, which means it may be below zero. Yes, indeed, it may be. So... I have my newly sprouted board potato sprouted out of the soil. I have a squash. I have radishes. I just took out my other plants. I have it under my plastic covered dome, which is like a like a hothouse, so to speak, with styrofoam at the bottom to keep it nice and toasty if it gets cold at night. So they'll be fine. But I had to go out in the drizzle this morning and cover everything up with a film of plastic. Yes, I had to do it. I just had to do it. I'm not risking my plants. I got a bunch of potatoes out there that I'm not going to lose. I don't think I'll lose them in zero, but if it gets colder and it's been raining like constantly, yeah, they need some, they need some rest, but yes, they do. So I covered them up with clear plastic and I think as the day progresses and it comes on to evening time, I'm going to throw a tarp over them for the night. And that will be added warmth for them. And I'm sure they will thank me in the morning for it. Because I don't think they're going to like this, this, this temperature. Because we were having really nice temperatures. And that's why a lot of my stuff is still in the house. It's not going out. And uh, because it's just, it's, yeah, it's still May. And most times, the middle of June, things don't go out. And I don't know when my tomatoes are ever going to make it out. But uh, yesterday, <clears throat> I sowed some new seeds in my seed starter that waters itself, which were okra, summer squash, Swiss chard, cucumber, romaine lettuce, and daikon radish. Yeah, I sowed those seeds. They have plenty of time. And I have a, a garden truck that I built that most of this is going to go into. Previously, I also planted on May 19th some red swan beans. And I put some of my beets that I had started in the seed starter. Uh, I put a bunch of them out on the 19th of May. And then yesterday, I, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, I put out the rest that I had in the seed starter. And I had moved them all into a, a, a wash basin that you would, plastic tubs that you'd put in the, in the sink to do dishes with. Yeah, I put them all there so they could adjust to the weather. Because it was overcast all day and it was raining. And I thought, this is perfect. They could adjust. There's no, you know, really bright sun. It's all overcast. They're going to love it. And they're going to love the rain. So... Yeah, but they went undercover 
my little hoop house I built to go on top of my planter stand that I built. <clears throat> and you wonder, well, where's your planter stand? Well, it's in the house, and I have it covered with uh, a pine board, and I have my bread maker on top of it, and I have my, what else, my air fryer on top of it, and below on the shelves I have my, you know, my plastic containers and everything else. They work beautifully. So I made, you know, I'm using that, and I use other things for outside. But I do use the topper that I made for it. And in the window box, I have the uh, radishes and green onions. And I planted some more onions in it, too. They're not up yet. But something else is coming up. I don't know what from last year in between. So that should be interesting to find. I love surprises in the garden. Yes, I do. So, folks, I wanted to let you know about my DIY rain barrel ketchup. Ketchup? No ketchup. Catch water contraption. It worked. My pipe that I used to downspout and fixed works, and it doesn't leak, and the rain barrel is full to the top. Needless to say, this is a stock photo that I grabbed because my deck from all of the rain it's got a little algae on it from the snow and everything so it's slippery and i ain't walking out there when it's wet it's like a skating rink and not even for you folks am i going to go skating down those stairs on my rear end so i will just give you this picture and let you know because i tested it the other day when it wasn't so bad and it's full so now it must be overflowing <laughs> so it worked all that work, it worked. I just wanted to let you know that it did work, and I thank you for watching my fix-it videos. There were a couple of them, or me processing the fix on the rain barrel. So I wonder what I got to fix now. Uh, I fixed the gutter. I fixed the rain barrel. I'm sure there's going to be something else, something I can MacGyver somehow, some way. And while I wait what, for the rain to stop, uh, my plants are all tucked in for the night. And when it hits zero tonight, they're prepared. And uh, I hope you all have a great day, a great evening. Take care and be safe out there with all the bad weather that's around everywhere, it seems. Please take care. And I'll see you next time.